why you're doing the capsule wardrobe wrong. So that is what we are gonna be talking about in today's video. This might be a little hot topic here. I wanted to make this video because I received a comment on Instagram from at capsule underscore creator and I was like, yes, say it louder for the people in the back. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna create an entire video around this and just let's talk about it. <laughs> let's talk about it. Let's open up that conversation in the comments below. Let me know what you think about this video and all the points that were made. So the comment from Capsule Creator goes, I actually just had a conversation about if your style is wearing a hot pink blazer every day, then it should be an investment piece in your minimalist lifestyle, despite what Pinterest says. And you know what? I wholeheartedly agree with that because I mean, your style is very unique to you at the end of the day. And we are all very, very unique individuals, keyword individuals, and we all have different likes. We have different dislikes that's what makes us human and that's that's what's amazing about life I mean how boring would it be if all of us were just clones of each other walking through life and there was no diversity whatsoever so I wanted to go over some of the common misconceptions about that capsule wardrobe because there is a lot of content online surrounding the capsule wardrobe I myself create a lot of content surrounding the capsule wardrobe and some of those key things that that work really well in your wardrobe time and time again year after year so yes, I do create a lot of content content surrounding this and there are tons of different guides and lists online and things saying Okay, if you want to create the perfect capsule wardrobe, you need one black blazer, one striped shirt, one white t-shirt, one great pair of denim, you know, and the list goes on and on. So if you're looking for a place to start, typically where you're going to start is going towards these lists. But here's the thing, if you're going to these lists and they're telling you you need a black blazer or you need a white t-shirt and you're not comfortable wearing black, you think, okay, black just doesn't work for me, it's not one of those things I enjoy wearing or feel, you know, my best self in, or a white t-shirt, you know, sometimes when I wear a white t-shirt, it just, I don't know, it feels like it washes me out or it doesn't make me my most vibrant self, then why on earth would you get yourself a white t-shirt or get yourself a black blazer if you know those things are not things you're going to be comfortable in or things that aren't going to make you feel like a million bucks? I've also gotten, you know, questions or DMs or comments over the years of people saying, you know, if I don't like white t-shirts or if I don't like wearing black, I don't want to have a black t-shirt. That's fine. Like, you don't need to have that in your wardrobe. You get what you want. If brown is your color, get a brown t-shirt t-shirt or you know a brown shirt in general it doesn't even have to be a t-shirt get what's gonna make you feel good and feel comfortable and those pieces that are gonna last you like stand the test of time and last you for years and years that you're gonna want to wear on repeat and that you are gonna get that wear out of and that essentially is what a capsule wardrobe is it's having that wardrobe of select pieces that you can mix and match within each other you can create numerous different outfits and things are gonna feel comfortable and good in for years to come it doesn't matter if it's a black blazer, a blue blazer, a red blazer, a hot pink blazer, or no blazer at all. Maybe you hate blazers. It doesn't matter what it is. As long as you know you're going to get that wear out of it, that is what the most important thing is when building a capsule wardrobe. Now, I did a video a while back um, where I included a piece, my leopard print midi skirt in a capsule video. So I received a comment on that video saying that a piece like that doesn't belong in a capsule wardrobe because of its print or because it was too loud. Whatever the case was, I can't remember now. And I remember thinking to myself, but okay, maybe to you, that's not a piece that you're gonna wear on repeat over and over again. But for me, that is one of my most worn pieces in my wardrobe. I wear that all four seasons, spring, summer, fall, winter. I wear it all year round. I style it in different ways. And it's always a piece that I grab for when I'm picking out those favorite things that I own in my wardrobe or a piece if I'm going, you know, if I have to, go to an event, I mean, pre-COVID, <laughs> things like that, that I would pull for right away because I feel so comfortable in it, I feel confident in it, and I can make cute little outfits with it. So for me, that is a piece that is essential to my capsule wardrobe. I will keep that piece till it is hanging on by a friggin' thread, and I'm gonna wear it, and I'm gonna style it multiple different times over and over again and work it within my wardrobe. So I hope that kind of makes sense to you, what I'm trying to get at here, but having that capsule wardrobe doesn't have to be so black and white it really is dependent on you and another one of those things where you really do have to try to tune out all of the noise on the outside because having a capsule is is not an aesthetic 
at the end of the day. And I mentioned this in my minimalism regrets video. I will link that down below if you missed it. But it's the same situation. Having that capsule wardrobe isn't some aesthetic. It's not how it looks from the outside. It's how you feel about it. It's what works for your lifestyle and it's what works for your life. You don't have to fit in some specific tiny little box to, to have that capsule wardrobe per se. And it's going to look different for each one of us because we are all unique individuals. And as I was saying, I mean, the whole point of it is to really have those pieces that you're going to want to wear over and over again and have on repeat in your closet. So I think honestly, the best way to go about building your own personal capsule is finding out what your personal style is. Really analyze your wardrobe. What are those pieces that you feel the most comfortable in, the most confident in? What are those pieces you're grabbing for if you had somewhere to be? and you're like having to throw together an outfit in a really uh, quick amount of time. You're gonna pull for certain items. Certain things are probably coming to your head right now that you know you're comfortable in right off the bat. And those are the things you wanna fill your closet with more of. It doesn't matter if it's striped or a floral pattern or um, has fun textures or things like that. The thing is, if you enjoy those pieces and get the wear out of them all the damn time, then that should be part of your little capsule wardrobe. Things that you're gonna wear on repeat over and over again and mix and match with the things that you have going on in your closet. So really defining your personal style is step number one. And then you're able to sort of build out that wardrobe of, of all of those things that you really love and want to continue wearing within your wardrobe. So what are those pieces that you grab for the most often? What are those pieces that you feel the most comfortable in? Analyze why. Also analyze, you know, what color are, are those pieces? What materials are those pieces? The fabrics, you know, the cuts. All of those things are going to play a huge role in your capsule wardrobe and I would also suggest like really thinking about the trends that you jump on because having that capsule wardrobe is supposed to be something you know that you're gonna wear over and over again so being very conscious of what you're bringing in to making sure you're not just impulse buying trends because they're trendy and and really thinking about what fits with your style and what fits with your existing wardrobe is how you're going to be successful in creating something that works for you. So that is going to wrap up my video for today. I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions down below on this and we can have a little discussion down there and I'll, I'll link the minimalism video for you as well if you wanted to take a peek at that. But otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye!